Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, temperatures never getting above the freezing mark this afternoon, though the sunshine certainly welcome. Another very cold night on tap, uh, but it will stay dry. A live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar for now, not finding any precipitation as the cold weather uh, sticks around really through at least the middle of next week. Now, all week we've been talking about uh, another potential uh, for some snow this weekend on Sunday. And while the, the potential for a, a big, big storm is not there, we're still looking at at least uh, some light snow showers. The timing on this should be actually Sunday evening and Sunday night and then out of here by Monday morning. At this point, maybe a coating uh, by Sunday evening and Sunday night. So something that's worth keeping an eye on. But as far as uh, large accumulations, not anticipated, but certainly a coating uh, can't be ruled out. And then watching Thursday, perhaps a more important storm system the middle of next week. I'll show you that in the seven day future cast. Skies are clear. A few patchy clouds outside right now. Temperature at 26 uh, setting up for a pretty cold night. West southwest at five. I mean, not that it's it's not cold now, but getting even colder overnight as temperatures drop down to about 10 to 15 degrees by daybreak. Satellite photo shows clear skies, a few patchy clouds, and that's the way it should stay throughout the evening hours and into the overnight as we take a look at the conditions starting off this evening and taking you through the overnight with mainly clear weather. Here we are tomorrow morning at around 7.30, 8 o'clock with sunshine, much like this morning, a, a very cold start, and then turning partly sunny by afternoon. Notice by mid to late afternoon, some extra cloud streaming in but not producing any precipitation so staying dry so mostly sunny during the morning and then partly sunny by Saturday afternoon let me show you the temperatures because they do tumble overnight as we watch the clock by say six o'clock in the morning that's it 12 is the best we can do northwest corner of the state to the mid and upper teens along the south shore now sunshine does get to work and much like today it should get temperatures up into the upper 20s to briefly near 30 29 in Providence this is around 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then by by tomorrow evening and around this time, temperatures will settle back into the uh, well, the lower 20s. Futurecast for tonight, clear to partly cloudy and quite cold. Now, keep an eye on some isolated icy spots, much like uh, last night early this morning. Some of the snow melt from the snow banks on the side roads. Some of that water and dampness can leak, at least on the edges of the road. And as temperatures fall below freezing, you can sometimes get the icing. So it's isolated, it's patchy, but the chance is there. So be aware of that driving tonight, early tomorrow morning. Speaking of tomorrow morning, if I can get to it. Here we go. 17. That's it. Much like this morning, very cold, but at least we have some sunshine again. Watch for some of these icy spots on some secondary roads. And by afternoon, upper 20s to around 30 with a mix of clouds and some sunshine. All right, seven day outlook showing uh, the potential for that uh, light snow on Sunday. And again, we're talking more of a Sunday evening into Sunday night. Not a big storm, but certainly a little coating can't be ruled out on Sunday night. Should be out of here by Monday morning. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday all look fine. Much colder, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. Daytime highs only mid-20s. More important storm system on Thursday. That may be one of those start of snow, change to rain kind of deals with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, so stay tuned. So two chances for precipitation. A, a dusting of light snow Sunday night and a more important storm system with snow and rain by a Thursday of next week. In the meantime, just cold and dry tonight. You can download the Channel 12 app through iTunes on your iPhone or on your Android smartphone uh, as well. So taking a break at least from big storms. And again, the snow on Sunday night should be light. Just a little break. That's all we need. Right? <laughs> all right. Tony,